what is up you guys thanks for tuning back into my channel for those of you who have no idea who i am my name is amani jelena the owner of allure 96 hair and lash company so if you're interested in drop shipping wholesaling pre-shipping or ordering just bundles to look pretty head over to allure 96 to browse the website and not only that i'm also the brand owner for amanijelina.co which is a brand that helps different entrepreneurs like myself gain knowledge in the entrepreneurship field while providing different courses ebooks and different resources to helping other entrepreneurs so don't mind me i'm literally just at home quarantining as you can see i have my robe on i'm super comfortable i'm working i'm on my laptop all that good stuff but i really just wanted to get on here and make a super sweet simple video for you guys especially for those who are that need an ein number and i understand the pandemic that's going on no more paying 75 dollars for an ein number no more spending any more money for an ein number because i am about to tell you how to do this for free so the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to irs.gov now if you click the link in my description you'll be able to see the link it'll be the very first link in the description box which is much easier of course than trying to search this all you have to do is click the link and it'll direct you to the correct page you're supposed to be on once you get to iris.cub and i have some notes in my phone so i'm giving you guys all the steps the first thing you need to do is determine your eligibility now i'm going to go through some things when you are applying for an ein number online especially through iris.gov you need to make sure that your business of course is located in the united states and if you're going through irs.gov nine times out of ten you do live in the u.s the next thing that you must have is some type of identification number and that could be your social security number itin number and then of course the ein number which we don't have because we're doing this so moral of the story is make sure you have a approved social security number that of course is registered in the u.s the only thing is when you are doing an ein number you have to be aware that you are only eligible for one ein number per day so you can't get on this website and try to make five different ein numbers for the five different businesses that you have going on this is only eligible one ein number per day uh, now some things that you guys should know when you are applying for an ein number on this particular website there is you have to finish this in one settings in one session you can't save it and come back to it later so make sure you have all of your materials in front of you so you can fill it out and then just submit it and then the very last thing you need to do once you complete all the required information go ahead and submit your application and you get an instant EIN number immediately now really quickly I'm just gonna go over some of the some of the criteria that irs.gov wants from you they're going to ask you what category is your business registered in and some of those options of course are sole proprietor partnerships corporations limited liability companies estates and trustees so depending on what ex type of business that you um that you have and that it is registered under you just go ahead and click the different options uh, once they get to that point uh, once you bypass that information they're then going to ask you information regarding of course your full name your social security number or whichever or your itin number and you can go ahead and input all that information once you get to that point they're going to ask you a little more information pertaining to your business and make sure you just fill everything in correctly last but not least they're going to ask for the address that your business is registered under and make sure you submit that information properly and once you bypass all of that information they're then going to give you all of the details pertaining to your ein number once you submit your application you would then be shifted over to a page that that I would recommend for you to print out and put in a safe spot. So that was super short. That was super straight to the point. I hope this video was definitely helpful to all of you guys. Don't forget to check out any of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I love you all and until next.